Hey nerds, Amy here, and today we are going to learn how to record a form response attachment into a list using Power Automate. All right, let's nerd out. In this video, we have a recruitment tracker list that records form responses into the list so that we can easily track our interview candidate. We are going to learn how to set up a flow to attach a resume from the form into this list item here. So it's super cool and I'm so excited to show you. If we click on this list item, you will see that that is the default attachment area within any list item. And mine is renamed as resume or CV. I just use a template within Microsoft. Yours would typically say attachment. Now I did just want to add that this attachment field is generally hidden, but we can show or hide columns and just toggle it on or off depending on your needs. Here is that form and all of these questions feed into that list that we were just going through. I did just want to quickly highlight the file upload section that I have set. As you'll see here, there are a few customization settings and you can just adjust those to your needs. This is all done through the upload file question type within form. Here is a flow that I have created in another video and this is just the baseline to pour those form responses into that list. If you have not set up this baseline of your flow, then I have linked my video here and I would highly recommend checking it out first. Now that we have the baseline for our flow, the first thing that we need to do is parse JSON. To parse JSON, we first need to run our flow up until this point. So here I have my run history. And if I select this item, then we just need to head on over to the get response details and locate that attachment field. So if we scroll on down, then we'll see here that we have that resume, which is the question where we have that file being attached. I'm going to click in here, copy it. Now we are ready to add our next step. So if we search parse JSON, then we can pull up that data operation. We click on that and under the content, this is where we are going to identify question within the form that has that attachment. So I know that I have named that resume. It is going to be the one that pulls up under the get response details. Now we can enter the schema. And if you're not familiar with coding, don't worry about it. We are just going to click generate from sample. In this area here, I'm going to control V to paste that content that we've just copied and then click done. Now Power Automate has done all of that work for us to convert this JSON to a script that can be used within our flow. The next step is to use the get file content using path operation. Now this is going to vary slightly depending on where your form is saved, whether you are saving it in SharePoint, we would use this one, or if yours is in OneDrive, then we would use this OneDrive for business operation. I'm going to show you each so that you can set up your flow appropriately and get it going on that first try. To help locate the location of your form, we can open it up and go to this top section here, and you'll see on mine that it says group and then human resources. So that tells me that it is stored in the human resources site on SharePoint. Here I am within the human resources site within SharePoint and I'm in the document area. We need to now find those files that are being attached to those form questions. If we go under apps and Microsoft forms, this is going to be the form. So mine is called phone screen interview questions. Then these are going to be questions and you'll see here that it's question and then question one. The next one would be question two. And so depending on how many file attachments your form has, they are going to be uploaded in this order. So mine are saved in question one, and I can see those PDFs attached here. Now we can use the get file content using path SharePoint option. Under site address, this is going to be that human resources site. Now Power Automate has this jazzy little file path, and it is helpful to an extent. Let's click on this folder icon here because it's in SharePoint. It's going to be share documents next, then back to app 
graphs like we just did, Microsoft Forms, and then that form, select that. And then here you can select the question one because that is going to pull the attachments that we want. I am just going to select either of these documents. It doesn't matter because I'll show you why in just a moment. So now that we have this all ready to go, this is the file path, but this isn't helpful because it has this file name attached to it. And if you try to delete it, then Power Automate is not helping me out right here and it is just adding it back in. Save yourself the struggles and just control C to copy that. Now, if you paste this into most other programs, it is going to add a bunch of jargon or coding to this file path, which we don't want. We want a nice clean path. So to keep that clean path, I have found a little trick. We open up a new browser, then in the URL, you can control V to paste that file path. Now we can just delete this file name, but leave that forward slash at the end. Now we can control A to select it all and then control C once again to copy it. Now, if we go back into Power Automate, then we can delete all of this file path and then control V to paste that new file path. So here we have a nice and clean file path. We know that it's correct. You could type all of this out if you wanted to. Now we need to add that file name. This file name is going to pull from this JSON that we have parsed in this operation up here. We head on over to expression and we are going to use a function called first and we are literally just going to paste it. I will include this in the comments below, but just paste it here and that is going to pull the file name based on the name from that previous operation. So click OK and let's just save that. If your form didn't have a group, then don't worry, I've got you. Let's take a look at what it looks like if your form is saved in OneDrive. Here I have my form open and I'm just going to once again click in this area up here. So you'll see here I've got the title, but there is no group defined. So that tells me that this one is in OneDrive. If we open up OneDrive, then we can can head on into my files, go to apps, Microsoft forms. This is that form name. And then in this example, I only have one file. So this is going to be my file path. Back in Power Automate, we can select this get file content using path OneDrive for business option. Now the file path here, you're going to notice that there is no site, but this is going to be the exact same steps that we just did in the previous option. All right, so here we are once again, we're just going to click on that folder icon. For some reason, we need to select root. Then we go to apps, Microsoft forms, that form, and then you can select that question, select an attachment that you have done in a run. We're going to copy all of that. We are going to paste it into our browser and we are just going to delete that file name, keeping that forward slash. Now I'm going to copy all of this once again. Now we can delete that, paste that new file path, and now we can add our expression. We are going to use the same first expression that we did, and that's just once again going to pull that name from the parse JSON operation in the previous step. All right, so our flow is coming along. So the last step that we need to add here is going to be the add attachment operation. And this is going to be this add attachment SharePoint one, regardless of the previous step of SharePoint or OneDrive. We click on there. Now we need to add the site address, and this is going to be the site where your list is saved. It's also going to be the same site that you identified in the create item option up here. So if you watched my previous video, then you'll know that mine was saved within OneDrive is the reason that it's not showing under the options here on the site address. So I'm going to go enter custom value, and then I'm going to paste that content that I just copied from that previous step. Now we can select the list name, which in my example is going to be that recruitment tracker. And the ID is going to be the create item ID. So it's going to be this one right here. File name is once again going to be that expression because that is pulling the name from the JSON. So I'm going to click OK here. And then last but not least, we need to add the file content, which is the actual attachment. And 
you'll see here, get file content using path. We now have the option for file contents. So I'm going to click on that and then click save. Once again, if you had OneDrive in this previous step, it is going to look identical here. So no worries at all. All right, so now we can test our flow. So let's just click on preview within our form. And if you are enjoying this video, then please hit that like button. Let me know how this flow works for you in the comments below. And remember to subscribe to my channel to get the most recent updates on my videos. I'm just going to quickly run through these questions and and we are going to add that resume here. Today I spoke with Rue. And then we're just going to toggle through the rest of this form. And yes, we do. And then last sentence is thank you for watching this video. All right, let's click submit and check out our submission in that list. All right, here we are in the list. And I can see that the last item is that like, comment, and subscribe. And there is that attachment here. So let's just click on that. Let's open it up. All right, so that wraps up this video. And I do hope that I've helped you discover your inner nerd today. And I also hope that I've shown you how to record a form response attachment into a list using Power Automate. All right, thanks for nerding out. We'll see you again.